Hi everybody and welcome back to my modeling channel. So today I'm gonna build uh, another Fog Wolf 190 scale 172 from Italy. It's an Italian brand and uh, so it was brought to me by uh, some uh, friends and they asked me to build it for them. So uh, take the opportunity to make it. So let's open the box and see what we have inside. So that kit came with a little bit of uh, a pot of glue and uh, some uh, paint, some, uh, it seems to be like paint, some acrylic paint made by Vallejo. So I have some uh, gray and some uh, green and some glue as well. So then what do we have here? So we have a decal sheet and some instruction, most probably regarding the paint and the danger of paint and doing that inside. So, now let's have a look on the instruction sheet. Seems to be pretty straightforward. So we have initially the composition of the cockpit then the assembly of the fuselage and the wings and the gear and the carriage and at the end the painting options. So let's open the kit itself and see what do we have. Okay, these come with a paintbrush as well. Here we are our wings. The wings are the panel lines are to be rescribed as uh, everything is outside unfortunately, so it's going to be a little bit of extra work. So we have the wings, the undercarriage here, uh, the gear door and uh, one bomb seems to be and uh, the instrument panel could be or some other parts. No, it doesn't look to be as the instrument panel is here. So here we have our uh, fuselage, the propeller, uh, the nose with the two uh, heavy guns. And uh, we have the options of detaching basically the vertical fin uh, and to replace it by another part. So we could do some, some more work. Uh, we have the options of that engines and the detail of the engines. And the cockpit, the pilot itself, not very detailed, but not very needed as well. So, and we have some clear parts. And I can see from here that I had some issue in the relock. I hope this is going to work, but we never know. So, we have uh, the second half of the canopy, which is in... You have uh, basically two different options that you could eventually do and the front part, but unfortunately this has been broken, so I will see if I can fix it, glue it, or do something else. Or uh, basically cannibal cannibalize one from another model that I already have. So, this is about it. And uh, so, let's see what we can get as a final result on that nice little model. Enough of talking, and let's start building! So we are going to start uh, this kit by uh, preparing the cockpit parts and uh, for this we have a few parts and uh, we'll have to do a couple of adjustments uh, as there was uh, a little bit of plastics was remaining uh, from the mold. So after that of course we use uh, a standard glue and uh, we glue uh, all the parts together. And, uh, so we're gonna have the, the side panel of course and uh, the, the, the panel uh, behind the, the, the pilot. Then after that, what uh, we did, we prepared the wings. So for that, there was uh, the, basically the well hole. And uh, then we add uh, some glue and we glue the wings uh, together like a sandwich. And that was quite easy. And of course, uh, after that, as uh, there will be some gap remaining, we can add uh, some Damia putty.
So we are now going to paint the cockpit and the interior of the aircraft in a matte black uh, color. So for this I will do the panels of course, the instrument panel and uh, of course the, the cockpit itself. So once we finish uh, with this uh, painting, what we are going to do next is to do a dry wash uh, on all the, the cockpits and the, all the instrument panel and the floor as well to uh, have some impression that it has been used. Following that, of course, I will use uh, some uh, yellow and some uh, red paint to uh, replicate some of the switches and of course uh, some white paint to continue the the switches and also the needle on the on the instrument panel. Later on I use some uh, Tamiya uh, adhesive tape uh, with a wide width of uh, 0.4 millimeters to replicate the seatbelt uh, harness on, the, on that aircraft. So it went uh, pretty well, of course uh, it glued very easily. So we are now going to paint the glare shield with a matte black color and all around the cockpit as well. Uh, we're using the same color. So once uh, this will be done, we will be able to start uh, painting the model itself. So initially I will put uh, a white coat uh, on the back part of the tail and uh, also uh, above the, below the cockpit on the fuselage and uh, below the nose cone as uh, those, some of those parts will have to be painted uh, later on uh, in yellow. And, uh, for this, I will do the marking uh, of a, another uh, personalized aircraft and this uh, Focke-Wulf 190 used to belong to uh, Oberleutnant uh, Josef uh, Triller, nicknamed as Pips, and the plane was stationed in Belgium in 1943. So uh, after we finish uh, that um, yellow coat, uh, we, will do, uh, we will cover those parts, of course, and then I will use uh, some masking tape of uh, 0.4 millimeters, and those will be on top of the exhaust, and they will, be, uh, they will give a, a shape looking a little bit like uh, a lightning, and uh, that will remain in white, and then the part will be uh, in black. So what I did, as I had an incident uh, on that uh, window, basically, I had I recover uh, one of the one of the cockpit window of a previous uh, kit of uh, 190. I cut it in half 
uh, to use it as a windscreen. And then what I did, I took the back part and uh, to, be, to be able to complete basically my cockpit window on that, uh, on that uh, Focke Wolf 190. So after that, of course, uh, we start to paint the underbelly of the aircraft. And for these, I use uh, a mix of uh, light blue and white uh, to give that uh, very light uh, blue uh, from the Luftwaffe. So we are now going to finish our uh, cockpit. So uh, after putting uh, all the masks on the, on the windscreen, uh, we're going to finish uh, the cockpit window or the canopy. And uh, so there is uh, one uh, part to place on top of the pilot seat. Uh, that's a protection for the for the head basically and then we're gonna paint uh, the head cushion and then uh, we're gonna start uh, putting the mask and then we're gonna paint the exhaust in a, in a black color uh, once we finish uh, to paint this uh, black uh, exhaust we're gonna put some mask of course and we're gonna put uh, a coat of uh, dark uh, gray color so for this initially we're gonna paint uh, all the aircraft in that uh, dark gray uh, basically, it's a mix of uh, dark grey and uh, black to get a, a more uh, deeper uh, grey uh, on, on that aircraft. So after that, what we will do is, uh, once we have this, we will uh, put some mask, of course, and then uh, we will uh, do the camouflage with a, a lighter uh, grey. So that lighter grey is a light grey mix. It's a mix with uh, some white colour and also with a little bit of uh, a green. So we're going to apply that and uh, we're going to leave the, the masking tape on the upper surface very loose. Like that we will be able to make the, a better camouflage with the little points uh, on, the, on the fuselage itself. Uh, that's a little bit of a technique that we have to take and uh, that's the first time I'm, I'm trying those uh, camouflage on the German aircraft. So it's a little bit of a challenge for me. After that we used some uh, green color to paint uh, the undercarriage and uh, the gear doors. So uh, as you can see the finish uh, of the, the paint is, is uh, pretty good so far and uh, after that well we're gonna assemble uh, finally the, the propeller will be in dark black I mean uh, matte black uh, with, the, with, the, with the cone as well. Then we're gonna prepare uh, the remaining part uh, which is the handle uh, where you would climb up and we're going to fix uh, the other carriage uh, on uh, the aircraft itself. So it's now time to start decaling the aircraft and for these I bought some uh, decals quite a long time ago. They were made by uh, the Ministry of Small Aircraft Production, MSAP and uh, I have to say that uh, they were very nice, uh, very easy to handle, soft enough. Uh, you still had a little bit of white glue came up but the decal itself because they were quite old. But uh, the overall was very nice and I was very pleased about the, the result. So after that, we're going to do a little bit of weathering on the aircraft while the decals are drying out. And then we're going to do the uh, second part of the aircraft. So uh, passing all the German cross on the, the uh, under wings and of course the main marking on the fuselage with the personal uh, insignia, which is uh, an ace um, basically just uh, below the cockpit. So 
So this is the final result of that uh, Fogwolf 190 scale 172 from uh, Italeri. So I hope you enjoyed that build with me. If you did so, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe on my YouTube channel if it's not done yet. And I will see you soon for uh, another build uh, video. Thank you for watching.